Treber from FreightTab found a new updated version uh, for the uh, firmware for the Mikul M8S Pro Plus and this firmware was dated uh, September the 19th. So since he found that, Magandance took that uh, ROM, the updated ROM, and uh, updated his uh, firmware. So I'll show you that. Okay, as I was saying, Magandance uh, took that uh, new version and enhanced his uh, Android TV port. And uh, again, this they call it ATV, Android TV port. So I'm going to go ahead and install this on mine. I have been running his older version from August 25th, I believe. But anyway, his older version. So I'm going to do the update. So I'll show you how I do it. This is the MeCool M8S Pro Plus S905X. Now the advantage of the uh, MeCool it supports the uh, Google Widevine L1 and then HDCP high definition copy protection. But anyway, that allows you to play uh, Netflix and HD with Dolby Digital. So this is the only Chinese company that does that. Now the the reset button is right here. Now you have to use the reset button and depress that until your computer recognizes it. Now it has got two uh, USB ports and I believe, going from memory, I think this is the one that actually acts as the OTG port uh, which allows it to uh, communicate with the computer so I can install the new firmware. But I believe it's that one. It could be that one, but I think it's that one. So I'll try that one first. But anyway, I've shown you this box before. For $38, it's a slick little box. Uh, in the past four years, I've probably purchased over two dozen of these Android boxes of sticks. But this is a, a cutting-edge box, and especially for $38 or less anymore. But, uh, but anyway, now I had a store-bought uh, mail, USB 2 to USB 2. It didn't work worth a crap. So anyway, I made my own. I just took two. I dug two out of the uh, junk junk drawer that I got and cut the ends off, spliced them together and it works great. I've used it for a lot of my boxes that does not have the micro USB port which normally they use for OTG. So anyway uh, I have to depress that button, connect this USB port here, plug it into my computer and at the same time or I will Prior to that, I will open up the uh, USB burning tool and I'll be all ready to go. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up my USB burning tool. And here, the second one, we got to click on English, go to the file, recent files. Okay, now that's one I had it uh, installed earlier. Okay, that's all there is to it. Open it up. I click Start. Now, if you notice, this is the MS Pro Plus version 619 TV blah blah blah. Now, a word of caution. Now, the newer or some of the boxes that they created, they've added a different. They changed the EMC module, memory module, and they will brick. It will brick your box. So, make sure you have the correct version. And uh, to verify that, go to Freak Tab and look for that. Uh, thread and you will see which whether your box can be uh, used this port or not so word of caution but mine is one of the original boxes so it works okay so anyway I will go ahead and plug it in and uh, listen for the computer beep and then we'll see it working okay now I'll take my cord I'm going to plug one in into here Now again, I think it's the second one from this micro uh, USB port, but I think it's the second one over from that. But I'll find out. Okay, now the uh, reset button is here. Here's the front of the box. Reset button is underneath that little thing there. So what I have to do, you got to hold that in, hold it in, you'll hear it click, and then I'll plug the other end to my computer. Okay, I'm holding the reset button in. I can, I can feel that it uh, clicked, and I can also hear it. 
So I'm going to take the other end and plug it into my computer. Now hopefully, within a few seconds, we will hear the computer make a sound that it connected. Sometimes it takes about five or six seconds for it to do it. Most of my M Logic boxes, they uh, so that I plug them in, it takes right off. So this one, this one struggles a little bit. I have to do it two or three times to get it to connect. So that one didn't seem to work. All right, I'm gonna try try a different USB port on my uh, computer. Okay, I'm gonna depress that little switch. Okay, I just heard it click. Now I'm plugging it into a different USB port on my computer. Now, the LED on the front of the uh, my box is red, and it still did not click. It still did not connect. So, let me try the other USB port on the box. Maybe I'm wrong on that. It took me a little while, but it finally took, it finally connected. It took me about uh, 10 minutes of trying it, pushing the little reset button in, plugging it into different ports. But anyway, I ended up plugging it into my powered USB hub. Don't know if that made any difference, but indeed it uses the, on the box itself, it uses the uh, USB port that is the furthest away from the micro USB. B slot. So in other words, it uses the USB port that's furthest or toward the back of the box. In other words, furthest from the micro USB port. So that's where you have to plug the USB cable into. So right now it is installing the uh, newest update by Mangan Mangandans Mangandans, and we're 64%. But I always prefer using the uh, flash method, or USB method. Uh, I'm using my Windows 10 computer, a desktop computer. Uh, run, yeah, latest, late run the latest version of Windows 10. So it should be done. But anyway, for those that are trying this, it's a little, it's, it is a little tricky getting to that reset button to hold it. And even when you got it held and you're plugging the USB cable into the box, and again, I use my homemade uh, USB cable for the, as an OTG cable. And it's, I, it's nothing special. The cables I use are just plain old cables I dug out of my junk drawer that I had laying around, cut the ends off of them, spliced the wires together, and bingo, it works good. I had a store-bought one, but it didn't work where the crap, so I threw it away. Oh, uh, one thing I did do, the uh, USB uh, cables that I'm using, they're heavy-duty cables. I don't know what the uh, AWG is, but they're a little bit heavy-duty. I had some flimsier cables, but I didn't use those, so it may make a difference or not. Right now, we're at 98% complete. Some people were complaining that's as far as their box gets when they try to update the version. So let me see what happens here. Again, I've updated this box several times. I also uh, have uh, Libre ELXC running on it also on a micro SD card. So I can dual boot, dual boot. If I want to use Android, I use Android. If not, I just reboot it and it boots into Libre. So, okay, burns successful. So it's done. So I'll take it over and put it on the computer and or on my TV and see what happens. But again, I burn it, burn it to the uh, ROM, uh, to the uh, memory, EMMMC memory, using my computer. So, all right, thank you much. Okay, I just brought it over to my TV and plugged it in. And let's see what it does.
Okay, again, this is the newest version that Mangan Dance ported over. And this one, I think, is dated October the 1st, 2017. So, it's about seven days old. So, obviously, I'm seven days late installing it. But I've been sick with the flu for about a week. So, so now I'm just done installing it. We'll see what it looks like and what kind of improvements it made. But it was... Almost perfect before, so I don't know what improvements it had that would benefit me, but we'll find out. Again, be careful. Make sure before you put this ROM on your mic or your uh, Me Cool M8S Plus Pro Plus, make sure you uh, have the correct EMMMC in your box. If you don't, uh, there was a time frame they put they used three different uh, EMMC modules from one from Samsung and or two from Samsung but anyway uh, one of them will brick your box so uh, be aware of that so before you install this ROM make double sure that you uh, double check and you probably have to open the box and make sure you have the correct uh, uh, EMMC module. So that's a word of warning, but again, these boxes are fantastic with uh, uh, Mag and Dance's uh, port. Okay, it took a few minutes to uh, load up, but here we are. I did have an Android phone, but I don't want it to bring in all my uh, apps from my phone over to this box, so we'll see. Again, I think this one uses Android version 7.1.2, so I think that was a, uh, the update, so we'll see what goes on. Again, it takes a little while for it to uh, install everything to its memory. All right, I'll go ahead and fill this out, and I'll get back and show you. Okay, I went in and signed in. Setup complete. Okay, that's it. That's what it looks like. Now, what I will do is go through. Oh, it's even had live channels. I've got uh, two HD home run tuners. Let's see what happens. Get started. Network tuner beta. Now set up. Let's see what it does. Again, I've got uh, two HD home run network tuners on my network antenna. Thirty nine channels. Very good. Take on Kansas State then at 10 15 p.m. Eastern. Mr. Love in Stanford at number 20, Utah. What? Right? It's a pretty good, it's a lot of football. CD Lamb with his four touchdowns. Well, it started playing right off the bat. It may take a little while to uh, populate the, uh, the grid guide. Because all your. Uh, grid or your data comes in over the stream so your all your guide data is included in the stream now it will probably uh, uh, go about two days worth it used to go a couple hours now it's up to about two days on the guide well right now it appears that it's not playing very well it's pausing so I'll have to look into that so that's not a good sign so we'll find out Okay, that's what I want to show you. Now I'll go ahead and set everything up. Thank you. Oh, before I finally sign off, let's take a look at it. Network. Uh, should be using my Ethernet. I don't, I'm not using Wi-Fi. It's connected with Ethernet. HDMI. I don't want to use that. I'm going to turn that off. Google Cast doesn't work very well. Sound. System sounds, 
digital sounds, we want HDMI RAW. We want the, I have an AV, AVR audio video receiver, so that gives me Dolby, sound, Dolby digital surround, uh, surround sound. Okay, here's what I want to do. About. Alright, version 7.1.2, kernel version 7, uh, September the 19th, kernel 3.14.29. And the bill number is 20170919. Hmm, I thought it was supposed to be. Uh, 1001. I'll have to check on that. But anyway, I think this is the newest version. So anyway, that's what I want to show you. All right. Thank you.